This is the original Warner compact disc release of Black Sabbath Master of Reality. This is the BMG Music Club version of that same title. Are these the same or are these different? I'll find out on Thrifty AV. On the left, this is the original Warner release of Master of Reality by Black Sabbath. On the right, this is the BMG version of the same title. Looking at the discs, they look pretty much identical except on the BMG one, it says manufactured for BMG direct marketing. It has that right there where there's nothing on the original Warner. Now, before I begin my comparison, I wanna point out I'm not comparing remasters or different masterings like this deluxe edition here. Also, I want to give a shout out to channel 33 RPM. Frank did a video titled Columbia House and BMG, the truth about their CDs. His video inspired my video and there's a link to his video in the description. Now, a lot of people uh, have conducted listening tests with original issue CDs and BMG copies and talk about the differences that they hear between them. But data on CDs is, is data, it's zeros and ones. So I don't have to rely on a subjective listening test. I can compare the data that's on these two CDs and see if there's any difference between the two. And I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna start by ripping track one from both of these CDs. The software I'm using to rip track one of Master of Reality is called Exact Audio Copy. The reason I'm using this is because it can do lossless 16-bit WAV files. Now, I am only going to be doing track one, and I want to rename it so that I can distinguish it from the BMG version. I'm going to call this WB because it is the original Warner Brothers version. Now, I'm going to click WAV. And right now it is ripping and this should speed up here pretty quick. This is track one, which is the innermost track on the CD. And those uh, rip a little bit slower than the outermost tracks. I am getting 9.10x rip speed out of it, which is pretty good. Another thing about exact audio copy is it will tell you, it says copy okay. It'll tell you if there are any errors in the rip. Uh, peak level 99.9% accurately rip confidence 9 copy finished so it grabbed that track now I am going to eject the original issue and now I have loaded up the BMG version of this same title I'm gonna rename track 1 with a BMG on the end and I'm going to just select track 1 and rip it as a WAV file. And now I'm seeing about the same thing. It starts off with a rather slow speed. I expect the speed to go up as it continues through the rip. It's now approaching 10x speed. It says copy OK. Peak level 99%. Accurately ripped confidence 27. Confidence is based on checksum data from other users ripping this same title. Now there is a tool in Exact Audio Copy that says compare waves. To use this tool, I select these two waves one at a time. It finished and found 1,097 repeated samples. However, the second file was 0 0.013 seconds longer than the first file. I have loaded both the WAV files into Audacity. On the top here I have the Warner version, on the bottom I have the BMG version. And just looking at the waveforms, they look identical, but in this zoom configuration it is really hard to tell. <laughs> Ozzy, maybe you should do something about that cough. Ricola. Before I deal with the track length difference, I'm going to play both of these at the same time. There is a slap back reverb going on that has to do with the timing of these two tracks. I need to zoom way up closer, maybe to the front of each of these tracks. 
Now something you can do in Audacity is you can zoom all the way in until you see each of the samples. Now at the beginning of the track, all these samples are set at zero. They're zeroed out, which means silence. Zooming back out on the Warner, this little piece right here is ahead of this little piece right here on the BMG. So it looks like there's a little less silence on the Warner than there is on the BMG. And now what I can do is I can chop off everything that occurs before that sample right there. Okay, here is the corresponding part for the BMG version. I'm going to chop off everything before that. All right now these should match up perfectly now. I'm going to pick some place in this track. I'm going to zoom in and compare. Okay now that I've time aligned these two tracks they appear to be identical. I want to go toward the end of the song here and compare samples and see if they have remained consistent. So here is a right channel uh, 0 dB spot maybe just slightly below 0 dB and that corresponds with that uh, same sample right there. So these samples seem to match so it's matching toward the end of the song as well as at the beginning of the song. Now I want to take the BMG track and reverse the polarity on it. And I'm going to go to, I'm going to effect and I'm going to invert. And now what it did is it reversed the polarity on the BMG track. On this sample where the Warner Brothers has a negative polarity, the corresponding sample on the BMG has a positive polarity, so it has been reversed. I'm now going to select both tracks and I am going to export a WAV file. What this is going to do is it's going to mix down these two tracks. Now if these two tracks mix down and give me silence, it means that everything canceled out. Here is the original Warner Brothers mixed down with the reversed polarity BMG and what I got out of this is silence. Just a flat line at 0 dB on both the left channel and the right channel. Let's go ahead and boost this say 30 decibels and see if it's still silent. Now I'm going to amplify. Let's amplify at 30 decibels. Now that I've boosted this 30 decibels, I am getting a slight noise floor on the signal, but this might have as much to do with the amplification algorithm on Audacity as it has to do with the signals having any type of difference in them. I'm going to say that if there is any difference in these two signals, they are inaudible. So in conclusion, on track one of Master of Reality, the BMG version has a fraction of a second longer silence at the beginning, other than that, there really is no difference. So if you have the BMG version, don't worry about having an inferior copy. It's basically the same. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel. And remember, stay thrifty, everyone.